Hallelujah. 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 So we came out in the heat today. It's the hottest it's ever been since they've been keeping track of how hot it is. And instead of us in the house, increasing the heat, running the AC, brothers came outside to kick doctrine. And we didn't just come by ourselves. People came with us, women and children, joined us to hear the doctrine. And they didn't come by themselves. They brought their husbands, their brothers, and their sons to hear the doctrine. So the most I got a gathering outside, praising his name in 2023. Come. Come. Last night, brothers kept the Sabbath, was on class, teaching a doctrine. The nights before that, brothers had classes during the week, teaching a doctrine. Before that, brothers was putting out videos on YouTube, teaching a doctrine. Right. In these last days, brothers have gone and wearied themselves to teach the nation about Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. Right. Giving all their strength and energy day in and day out. You're not doing that for nothing. Give me Hebrews 6 and 10. It's the book of Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. Bring it out. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. That's the point. It would be unrighteous for the Most High to not recognize that you sisters covered your head and came out and heard the Bible, put dresses on, and served as examples to this wicked world. Right, right. That would be foul if the Most High act like he don't see that. Right. Read it again. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. The labor of love was brothers sitting in front of the computer, editing videos, brother, shower Paul. 11 o'clock in the morning, kosher breakfast, making a room, thinking of topics, talking about the Bible, 100, 200 people in there, debating with people that don't believe every day, arguing to prove this truth. It would be foul if the Most High act like he don't recognize that. Like, yeah, you're putting in that work, but I don't see that. In Babylon, amongst scoffers, in 100 degrees, but I don't see that. That would be foul. So the Bible already gave us comfort. Read it again. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. Come on. Which ye have showed toward his name. And we show it towards his name. Come on. And that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. That you teach the saints. How is anybody going to learn unless somebody do this work? That's right. How is anybody going to learn unless somebody get the doctrine, master it, and bring it out. That's why y'all brothers can't stand back and watch other brothers do the work. Y'all brothers gotta put y'all brick in too. Right. Because there might be somebody out there that I cannot reach. They don't care for my style of teaching. The way that I talk, they don't care for that. It don't catch them. But if you was out here teaching, you was the special brother, and they stopped for you. That's right. You, something about your spirit, Connect with them. And y'all all got that personal experience. Y'all know that as one teacher, he connect with you. Why, right, brother? When, when he started teaching and I heard him, I started listening a little bit. I got many brothers that took me through that. You understand? That's right. So the most high done promised you that he's not unrighteous to act like he don't see you doing the work. So now you gotta do the work. Right? But when you do the work, something's gonna happen. Right? That's right. Here comes Satan. As soon as you try to get serious about serving the Lord, here comes Satan. Don't let you have a woman you love. You gonna go to her? Right. Why you keep going out there yelling in the street? That's embarrassing. Right. Don't let you have a job you like, you getting money you like. Now somebody done call you a job and he out there racist with them people screaming. Brothers go through that. You, you come to work, you got to go to HR as soon as you get there. Why? They got a picture of you at camp. Brothers go through that, send emails. I've been through it. Lady sitting there lecturing me. The Old Testament is kind of dark. You don't want to get stuck there. I'm at work. What are you talking about? I, I was quiet though. I let her say that. 
I chose my battle. I didn't try to debate her. I needed my job, right? But why am I going through that? Cause Satan. Right. <laughs> you 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 set up the camp nice. You put up tents. You lay down the signs. Your brothers come and visit you. Seven million gnats come flying, driving you crazy. You gotta run away. That's Satan. You come to the martyr, away from the gnats, and you got a human gnat yelling in your ear. Who are y'all? Yeah, blah, 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 blah. With our water that we just gave him. Right. Right. Who are you? Right. Satan. He can't help himself. Right. Your kids going to act funny. Right. Your parents going to act funny. I didn't raise you to be out there. God love everybody. You out there teaching hate. Meanwhile, if you would have been reading the Bible as a child, your parents would have been elated. Happy as hell. Right. They just mad you reading it this way. Right. With right. some accurate knowledge. Right. They don't like that. Right. Why? Satan. <laughs> don't, don't, don't let you have a talent. No. Oh, you make music? <laughs> Satan. <laughs> you know what kind of music is successful. I understand you know that Israelite stuff, but we're going to get this money. Right? Right. right. Now you can't even enjoy your passion because you don't want to be a hypocrite. That's how I go. That's just the way it is. The Bible says, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. Right. 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 Now how you prepare? You can't really prepare for temptation else it be not temptation. Right. Like if you can see a punch coming, you're going to slip it. Right? It's not too challenging if they telegraph it. Right? But temptation don't tell you that it's coming. It just come. Right. Right? Uh, uh. It's aggravating, it's annoying, and it's stressful, right? Getting headaches. So what's 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 Satan tell you? You know what make you feel better? Don't go to camp this week. You know what make you feel better? Ah, uh, you you don't catch class on the rebound. Right. Just watch the game tonight. Play the game tonight. That's what Satan right. 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 It seemed harmless. Right. Because it's like, well, what's the big deal? I've been doing all of this work for all of this long, right? But the Bible said, make no mention of your former good works once a man has come to sin in the book of Ezekiel. It's not going to be remembered. You're going to be punished for the iniquity that you do. Everything you did before don't count all of a sudden. That's why this scripture is so confident. The Most High is not unrighteous to forget your good works that you minister and do minister to the saints. The easiest way to avoid temptation is to be wrapped up in this word. The easiest way to avoid going insane because he's tempting the spirit and stomping them out is meditating on scriptures. The easiest way to keep peace with your wives in your house, sit down and study with her. If you put the most high in the middle of everything, it's easier to endure temptation. Right. Right? What happened when you when you do something all the time? When you play ball? What happened when you got a routine? It's better. It becomes second. It becomes second. Nature. Nature means natural. Mean you just do this. Just do it. Be a natural. That's what Nike try and tell you. Be natural with it. Just do it. That's what you do. But what happened when you put the plow down? The scripture said you put the plow down, you're gonna wax worse. That's right, right. It's because you're not in your practice. That's right. You're not in your religion, which is religio, which it means discipline. That's right. That's when temptation is successful, when you put down your discipline. How come, how come Satan wasn't able to tempt Christ? Is it because Christ is not a normal man? Go to Matthew 4 real quick. How come Satan, drop everything. Go, so we're going somewhere else. Go to Matthew 4 real quick. How come Satan wasn't able to tempt Christ? Is it because Christ wasn't a man like me and you? Right, right. Oh, he different now. Christ, Christ is God in the flesh now. He not a man like us? If, it, if that was the case, it wouldn't be special what he did. What's up, brother? Because if you believe in God, it said, come as you are. What scripture? 
What scripture? Everybody be quiet. What scripture? What scripture said come as you are? Who wrote the Bible? Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Jeremiah, Baruch, Isaiah, uh, Paul, uh, Isaiah, uh, I said Isaiah, Joel, Moses, Hosea, Ezra. No. He's coming at an angle that the Bible was made by the white man. <laughs> now, if I wasn't in my discipline, I would let that distract me from the profound point that the Lord moved me to bring out. If Christ was a regular man, it makes sense that you should be like him and follow his example because he was able to do it. But if Christ wasn't a regular man, it's not fair to ask y'all to be like him. How? How many? What they told you to worship? What they told you to worship? Whatever your granny and your mama was talking about. Oh, my everybody. granny and my mama was talking about this. Human traffic is real. Everybody I'm looking at is a part of So you're trying to distract me. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Bring that out and you bring it out. All right. Appreciate it. If Christ was not a regular man, it wouldn't be fair to ask you to be like him. That's right. That's right. Because how? He's not a, he's God. How am I ask you to be like him? But if he is a regular man and he was able to do it, I could do it. Right? So how was Christ able to endure temptation as a regular man? Satan himself came to see Christ. <laughs> Read this account. Start one. Not the white man, the physical arm of Satan, the Arab man, the physical arm of Satan, the Asian man, the physical arm of Satan. Right. Satan himself came to see Yahweh Shah, just like he came to see Job that day. Oh, Only difference is he ain't talked to Job, he was just watching him. He talked to the Most High. Satan came and spoke to Christ. How was Christ able to overcome that level of temptation? Right. It was discipline. Read this. Matthew chapter 4 from the top. Bring it out. Then was Yahweh Shah led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. Meaning the Most High said, this is about to happen. Bring it out. I'm going to make this happen to you, Christ, my son. Because you're a regular man like all of them. They tempted every day down there. You're going to go through it. Read. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights. What did he do to endure the temptation of Satan the devil himself? When he did what? And when he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Christ had to fast 40 days and nights to endure the temptation from the spiritual demon Satan in person. That's right. He had to be doing that. Almost in a trance-like state. Self-denial. What you think he was doing with the time? He wasn't eating and drinking. He was meditating, praying. Praying, reading. Reciting, rehearsing. Thinking on the counts. What you want to bet Christ? What you want to bet Christ meditated on Job while he was fasting 40 days and 40 nights? Of course he did. That's a 99.9% sure. Yeah. Just being spiritual, right? What are you doing to endure temptation? Are you on class? Do you come to camp? Do you teach? Do you want to? Hey, uh, why are you taking video? You taking video for? No matter what, it's gonna come out no matter what. If you're not teaching your wife, are you at least teaching yourself? That's right. Matter right. of fact, if you're not teaching your wife, how's she gonna endure temptation? Right. You relying on her to watch brothers teach? Well, she probably watched classes, did she? How you know? Why you ain't sit at the table with her and open the Bible and look at something with her? Spend some time with her. How you know your kids gonna be able to endure temptation? I bet you they watch Instagram. I bet you they watch Coco Melon. I bet you they watch Gracie. I bet you they watch YouTube. I bet you they watch Netflix. That's right. I bet you they watch Hulu. 
you over here like, oh, I got, I got my fringes on and I'm coming in this thing. Well, how you know your children is coming in this thing? You got to teach them. You got to do something to endure temptation. You have to do something. You're not going to endure temptation by just being. Like, just knowing the truth is not enough. You got to apply yourself. Read on. He was afterward in hunger. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Now, that's the exact temptation to break. What up? What up? That's the exact. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, shut up. Now, back to the word. You got to do something to endure temptation. Right? Right. Satan just asked that man, are you hungry? Turn them bread, turn them rocks into bread. Tempting the spirit, right? But think about it for a second. What's the main temptation that you can offer a man who's fasting? Food. So how is it gonna work for you? You you think Satan not you have a glaring weakness. You be looking at the porn. You have a glaring weakness. You a hater. You have a glaring weakness. You greedy at the table. You have a glaring weakness. You's a liar. You have a glaring weakness. You a coward. So how's Satan gonna tempt you? Is he, is he gonna go at the thing that you're strong at? You have a glaring weakness. That woman, whatever she say, go. You ain't about to lose that. How's Satan gonna come at you? Mm -hmm. What he gonna do? He's a hater, bro. He's the, he's, he's, what you call him? What you say? Perfect. Why? Because he do his job better than any of us. He, he's over righteous to be evil. That's right. <laughs> he's excellent at his job. So instead of you facing your glaring weakness, you letting it fester like a wound. And guess what? Satan gonna come through you, uh, through that woman. That's his weakness. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna attack him that way. Right, right. I, I don't want you to go to camp. Uh, 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 you, you doing too much. She gonna withhold that loving. She gonna act different. You know, you gonna fold, man. Right. All right. Brother's asking, why you ain't been to camp in a few weeks? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back out there. I'm gonna get back. <laughs> now that you out of your discipline, what are you susceptible to? More of temptation. You think, right. oh, Satan gonna leave you alone? Right, no. Is he gonna leave you alone now? Nope. Come on, man. He gonna pick at you harder. He gonna rip the scab off so you bleed again. Right. <laughs> now your woman folding you. Now you're not going to camp. Now you're not spiritual. Now I'm gonna pick at you more. You got a glaring weakness. You got high blood pressure. You got almost diabetes. How's Satan gonna tempt you? Through the food, man. Right. You gonna be making excuses in your mind like, it don't taste right without salt. I do it. My right. pops got high blood pressure through the roof. And here it is, me. My wife had to say, you don't need salt on this. Why are you doing that? Right. And I got to think, man. I'm going to damn kill myself because the food. Right. And I'm just thinking, I want a little salt, but that's Satan trying to kill me. Right. I'll get you off the street. I'll kill your ass. <laughs> through the food, right? You have, so now I got to overcome that. I gotta be uncomfortable. Glaring weakness, that job, damn, that job, boy. All that money you making, we ain't about to risk that. Join the camp, what? People <laughs> might see me, man. Oh, all right. That job controlling you, now that job wants you to work on a Sabbath. Right, right. You was never doing that before. Now you work on a Sabbath now, talking about something like, I can't lose that job. But that was Satan that did that. Because that's your weakness. Right. If you was the kind of guy that I'm going to go get the letter from the brothers. 
I'm going I'm to go and fight that thing. My religious right. I, I'm going to serve Yahweh. Find out that they ain't going to make you work on the Sabbath. Right. Right. Yeah, full of games and tricks. Our people right. are sick, man. The, word of God is the so temptations done tore him up. He couldn't put that blood down. Then they gave him that woolly and bugged him out of his mind. Right? Sprinkle a little coke in his blood. Angel the PCP. Golf. In a chicken coop with smoke. It takes discipline to overcome temptation. You gotta do something. I got overactive imagination. I'm impatient. Um I get frustrated easily. What do I absorb myself with? This Bible, man. I'm on the clubhouse, teaching a class, watching a class, making a class, editing a class, at camp, holding posts, teaching or reading. All the time. Because if I give myself idle time, what's the earthly proverb? Um, idle time is the devil's playground. Right. That's a, that's an earthly proverb. That ain't right. even in the scriptures. Say it how I say it in the scriptures. All right, he said it, now find it. It's Ecclesiastes 33 and 27. Bring it up. It's the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 33 and verse 27. Bring it up. And it reads, send him to labor, that he be not idle, for idleness teacheth much evil. So that's how the Bible says. And that was before Idle time is the devil playground. That was before that. Idle time teaches evil, and we know that's the same. It's the same parable, man. I see you, sis. You gotta be occupied, or you gonna be wicked as hell. That's right. So you gotta ask yourself. Here it is. I'm asking the Lord, deliver me not into temptation. But what are you doing to fortify yourself against it? You playing the same music. Idolizing the same thing, texting that girl saying the same thing. She don't give a damn about the truth. <laughs> must be the word must be good. Man. The word must be good, man. I've been working on my patience. I don't care. This scripture's gonna come out. Let's go back to Yahweh Shai, man. To withstand Satan, he had to fast 40 days and 40 nights. Some of y'all, I can't pay y'all to fast. Right. What? <laughs> they be like, yo, I'm waiting for the Day of Atonement, then I'll fast. <laughs> you only fast once a year? Come on, man. You only gonna be tempted once a year? Close your mouth. Pray. Read a, some, read a chapter of the Bible. Read a whole chapter of the Bible. Say, I'm a, do, it, do it in small steps. I'm going to fast until I finish Jeremiah chapter 18. <laughs> until I finish this chapter, I'm not going to eat or drink. I know I'm doing something right now. I'm doing something. How far I got? I got to go back to doing this. I'm hungry. No, no, can't until I finish this chapter. Now you're fighting the study. How easy is a man like that to tempt versus the idle man? Right. Much harder to tempt a brother like you. Right. You, you, you doing something nobody even asked you to do. Right. Satan is not, Satan is not interested. He gonna leave you alone. It's, it, I'm gonna go torment these people. It's easier. Why I'm bothering you? Are you trying? Read on. Verse four. But he answered and said, "It is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Come on. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God." How he know to say that to Satan? He's aware of this scripture. Right. How he know to say that back? Because he read that and knows that. Do you know what to say to your temptations? The answer is in the scriptures. Are you aware of what the scriptures say? Right. That porn kicking your ass? Hey, I make a covenant with my eyes. I shall not even look upon a maid. A whore is a deep ditch. And all her ways lead unto death. Now you're looking at the computer funny. You looking at the computer funny. Right. <laughs> you know, you got that website dialed in, you type two letters and it fill out the whole thing. 
I'm lying! Alright. You got that one video you like? Speed down. That one? No, man. Delete that, man. The whore is a deep ditch. I make a covenant with my eyes. Why should I even look upon a maid? What's his name? Onan? He spilled his seed upon the ground and the Lord killed him. Ah! Ah! Right? right? The only people that can resist that is somebody trying to resist it. You're not going to resist it by just deciding, nah, I don't feel like it today. No, you're always going to feel like it because Satan going to make sure you feel like it. Because he's tempting you. What about the food, man? He who sits long at the table shall suffer from cholera. That's in Sarah. Choler. Uh, issues with your gastrointestinal. It's in Sirach. He who sits long at the table. Do not be, uh, do not be uh, gluttonous at dainty things and at the meats. Right. Sweet. Stop, man. Oh, man. It's just another sandwich. It's your third one, all that salt and that processed meat, man. Right. What happened when salt has no longer savor? <laughs> what shall you savor therewith? Now, I got to think about that because I put salt on every. I'm like, man. <laughs> what when the salt don't save it no more? Is that what's happening to me? Is it is the food already taste good, but I can't taste it no more? So now I gotta add more salt. And is that how the blood pressure kill you? Is that the trick? I gotta think like that. Right. For, for the stop. Cause what I'm doing, I'm right in the kitchen with the salt. Right? Right. I'm I'm giving you practical examples of temptation. What happened to that woman, man? For the man is the head of the woman. Uh, right. That's right. And God is the head of Christ. That's right. And then I go and God look at my woman and go, am I your head or do you tell me what to do? Am I scared of you? Because I don't want no problems. Right? Right. Am I, I don't want no problems, God. I don't want no problems. That was Pete? All the praises. You know what's another temptation? Procrastination. Uh -huh. right, right, right. Some of you brothers want to do big things with your life. You want to get to a new level, man. And you waking up at 1.30 in the afternoon. You eat, watch Sports Center, flick your toes. Pull your basketball shorts on. Instagram. Right. Damn, it's 4.30? I'll do it tomorrow. Right. Right. Oh, man. You're the whole day. Right. Right. The whole day. Gone. <laughs> Some of y'all wake up in time to do it. Instagram, Facebook. I work a little bit. Ah, Instagram, Facebook. <laughs> Work a little Instagram, fake. Damn, it's 1.30? I'm hungry. I'll do it tomorrow. That's Satan is beating you. Right, right. Because you're not willing to discipline yourself to have what you want. See? Exactly Come on. Because right. it's got to be hard to get what you want. Are you the same as the dude who put his phone on Do Not Disturb and put it in the other room? I don't want to hear nothing. I got to get this done real quick. I got to do this. Matter of fact, I got to be at this place at 8. I'm going to get up at 6 because I got something else I need to do. I could just do that then. Then by the time I'm up now, then I could get in traffic early. I won't have to be rushing. Then I get to the thing that I need to do. Damn, I did two things in one day and tomorrow's another day. That's a different type of God. Right? Right? Right. Or Satan could just beat you. This sleep feel good, man. What the Bible say? Another folding of the hands. Another turning upon thy couch. 
and want will come upon you like an armed man. What do that mean? What do that mean? What, what does an armed man come to do? So want is lack. So you're going to, another folding of the hands, another turning upon the couch, and want is going, lack is coming to rob you, because you lazy, bro. But Satan could beat you, because sleep just another 30 minutes, bro. It feel good, right? You in the bed, but don't get out. Go on your phone, right? Where's your discipline at? Where's the suffering? It's supposed to be hard. Right? right. Fasting 40 days and 40 nights is easy? Uh, that fe that Does fasting 40 days and 40 nights feel good? Uh, uh, uh. Your stomach eating your back. <laughs> Ain't you thirsty? You got the yizzy. Yeah, I wish I got the, the white right here. And he got that migraine from lack of hydration. Come on, man. But if you're going to beat the spiritual demon Satan in real life, you're going to have to do something. Yeah. Well, if you're going to beat what's tempting you, you got to do something. Finish the account. Read more. Verse 5. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. A lot of y'all got family members, brothers, and cousins that's in jail over pride right now. Oh. That's locked up over pride right now. They got cases, killed niggas, beat, they beat women, did wild stuff because of pride right now. Because that's how you can be beaten, by pride. I'm not going to come at that brother with other things. What gets to this man is pride. Didn't Satan just try Christ with his pride? Uh, if you be the son of man, who the scriptures is talking about, jump off this thing, man. Ain't the angels supposed to come and save you? I bet you they won't. Prove it. Now, yeah, how is I supposed to get mad and do it? He's supposed to get mad and jump off the top of the temple. And, and make the most high prove to Satan that he's God. For what? Read the next verse, man. Yeah, how is I say unto him? It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, the devil taking him up. Oh, oh, oh. that's two temptations, and he's about to give you a third one. Is he leaving your Shai alone after two? Uh -huh. How is your Shai defeating his temptations? Scripture, man. He in the Word. How you gonna do it? You gotta be in the Word. How you gonna be? <laughs> You gonna do it better than Christ? You gonna do it another way? I'm gonna do it without stuff. Look, I know them Israelites, I know them. I know them. Now I be around them. Do you study? No, nah, no, nah, I go to camp, I, I hear them talk sometimes. They know me, I go to their, I be, I be with them. Do you study? I know they, I know these guys, I know them. Do you study? I, yo, I watched the video where he was, uh, the white dude, they was debating, and he had, he got him. Do you study? I asked the same question. Right. Because that's the only way Yahweh is beating his temptations by the word. If you're not studying how you gonna win, you just gonna do it because you want to. It don't work that way. Don't deceive you. Be not deceived. You gotta be in the book, man. Any of these brothers on this line with me, I challenge you to a Bible fight. I got money on them. You not beating them, brother? Smiling. Any of these guys on this line, go get your pastor from wherever your <laughs> church is at. I, any of these, this is a young dude. Eight up. How old are you? 17. 17. Right. Go get your pastor. A Bible fight? My money's on him. Right. Oh. Anybody got doubt? Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> can I put money on you? In a Bible fight, can I lean? Can I? Bet on you? Think about it, man. If I can't bet on you, why? If I can't put my faith in you in a Bible fight, why? 
because you ain't in your book. If you're not in your book, how are you going to endure temptation? You just going to do it? Let's go back. Hopefully after this, y'all be like, nah, bro, I got to make an adjustment. That man, Errol Spence, ain't make no adjustment. And yo, that's the dude that said, throw in the towel. <laughs> that's not him from Rocky. Yeah, yeah. Throw in the towel. That's not him. That's the Apollo Creed trainer. They ask you where the white people are. Ain't no white people. We in heaven. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ain't none. Who? I, yo, he broke the street. I used to say that at camp. I used to say, you know, I could go a whole day and not see no white people and never go, hey man, where the white people at? He just broke the street, man. <laughs> Say, read this. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 8. No, no, no. Rodney, take over. Matthew chapter 4 and 8. Rodney, take over. Fine. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 8. No. Again, the devil taking him up unto an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. So now the devil said, oh man, you think you slick, huh, Yahweh Shai? I got you. I'm going to show you a wonderful vision. Go ahead. And the glory of them. And then I'm going to show you how all these other nations got it good. Read. Verse 9. And say unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. How many of your rappers did this? Right. As far as this music stuff, I won't be doing this music stuff anymore. I started this because this is my dream. And, you know, I wanted to make sure I could get me and my kids out the hood. This has always been my passion to rap. A while ago, I had signed a contract, and I didn't know nothing about the business or, the, or, or, the, or this game out here. And just right now, I'm realizing that I signed my soul. I, I sold my soul to the devil. I signed myself to the devil. I don't even own myself no more. I don't. I sold my soul to the motherfucking devil and I done pray, I pray, and I pray, and I pray. You know, and it's just like, I don't know if God can get me out of this, you know, and it's just, it's just like to the point where I don't even know, like I can't, I just want to say I'm sorry to my fans. I know y'all love me, I know y'all believe in me, but I can't. I didn't know what I was doing. How many of your rappers let somebody go up their back to get that record contract? Right. Right. That's an act of worship to Satan. Right. right? Right? Right. How many of your rappers sacrificed the loved one so they can have something? How many, man? That's an act of worship to the devil so they right. can have something, man. How many of your actors did that? Will Smith and them. Gotta do this. How many, how many people put on a dress? Right. 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 right, that's an act of worship to Satan, because the Lord said a man shall not put on a woman's garment, right? right. right. But I need this contract, right. so now I got to do this, right? And I'll give you. Tell me that Tyler Perry don't have the whole Atlanta, right? Did did not did not Satan give him the kingdom right. of Atlanta and, bought, and Hollywood? He just bought ET and uh, VH1. That's a man in a dress. Mm. So what's going to happen when it's time for the, to answer? Mm. When the books is open? Wow. Right. And you can't tell him that. Because he, he, he's a Christian. Right. Read on, man. Verse 10. Then, then said Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. Get out of here, man. Come on. For it is written, Thou shalt, wor thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only. Shall thy serve. How many times did Yahweh Shai say it was written, man? All his comebacks was the scriptures. Again, again, it's written. was written. All of them times was temptations. And the way to beat it was what was written. That's right. How you gonna beat temptation? You don't know what's in the book. Right. right. If you don't study, you're done. If you're not studying, you finish. Satan to even Satan to even delude you. He'll he'll make you believe that you know the Bible. Right. He'll have you saying, "I know what that book says. I know all about that. I was raised in that." Right. And you don't know what's in there. Right. 
So you can't defeat temptation when it comes in all of its numerous forms. All of its numerous and deceptive forms. Y'all understand? I understand. Yeah. Read on. Verse 11. Then the devil leaveth him. Say what? The Re devil leaveth him. Give me James 4 and 7. Why did the devil leave though? Did the devil leave because it's a certain catchphrase you gotta say and he disappeared? No. The devil leave for this reason right here. Y'all need you got it? Read that. The book of James, chapter 4, and verse 7. Read it out. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. That's why the devil left. That's right. You gotta resist them. That's right. What does the word resist mean? Fight. What do cops mean when they say you resist an arrest? Fighting. You oppose What do they mean by that? When the cops say you resist an arrest, what do they mean? Fight. Okay. So what did the word resist mean? Fight. So you got to what? Fight. You got to what? Fight. 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 Or it's supposed to be easy. Now how can y'all know that and not be in your book? How you going to resist the devil? You gotta know what's in the book. Right. So he can't deceive you. Right. That's right. If you don't know what's in the book, I can play you. Right. You don't know that. How many of our brothers don't know the dietary law and think only Muslims follow that? Right. So it's easy to deceive them, right? Right. I'm gonna just make them uh, perpetually unclean. How many sisters don't know the law out here lesbians? How many? A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. How many sisters out here don't know the law usurping authority over their husbands in the household? Too many. Then they get divorced and then they go on the podcast and say it's the man's fault with a ball cap on. Seen that lady? Yeah. <laughs> her breath stink. Because it's easy to deceive her because she don't know what's in the book. How many brothers has got the zeal for the Lord but not according to knowledge. All right, all right, enough folly, enough folly. Let's get serious. Jake got a folly spirit. He's jolly. <laughs> How many pastors don't know what's in the book and Satan is using those pastors to mislead people? Many. I heard one pastor say, don't you never come in this church criticizing no homosexual and you gonna leave here and go to Red Lobster. The Bible say you can't eat no shrimp, crab, lobster. So if y'all not going to stop eating shrimp, crab, lobster, leave the homosexual alone. Wow. Wow. What? That's crazy. Wow. I hate that doctrine. Wow. That don't even sound right. Yes, it do. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. He taught his church to stop criticizing gays if they're going to keep eating unclean food Therefore, if you want to eat your unclean food, let them people be gay. And everybody, and look, what did the church do? How close was he to being right? He was right there. Right there. But Satan is right there behind him, massaging his shoulders. Say this. Ooh, they like that. They like that. It's gonna be back next week. Pass the plate now. Pass the plate now. Right, right. Got him. Play the music. Play the music. Play the music now. Play the music now. <laughs> Could Satan use that pasta if that pastor was in here? Uh, that pastor ain't in the book. He's in seminary school. Uh, He's calling his senior minister, leader, and asking him for advice. And then that's who's feeding him his bread. He don't study to understand. He don't study to show, hey sis, come listen. He don't study to show himself approved. That sister, Eve, right? Do she know she can't dress like that? No, she don't. Now if I try to tell her, what am I doing to her? I'm judging her, right? And in her mind, you can't judge me, right? And that sounds right. See how easy it is to deceive her? 
for her to understand that she gotta be like these sisters, the only way for her to learn that is she has to. It's no other way. I can't explain it to her. I gotta stop her, stay right here, and we gotta read it to her, right? Right. And she gotta accept that she heard that and go, wow, I do say that. Because that's what changed most of us. Right. Mm -hmm. Damn, they do say that. Right. It, right, right? Right. It's, it's say that. It's say that. It's say that. This is the master solution for all your temptations. Getting in this book. Give me some rack two and one. How you gonna tell a brother, look, how you gonna tell a brother who's an alcoholic who feels like, well, we all got vices and your sin ain't greater than mine, that sound right. How can I convince that brother, no, I, you can't be a drunkard, the Lord gonna kill you for that. No. He said you cannot be a drunkard. He who destroys his temple, him shall the Lord destroy. You gotta overcome that. I can't explain that to him unless we get in the book. Right. It's, it's easy to understand, man. Read this. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2 and verse 1. Bring it up. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So all you brothers that's thinking, all right, I like what y'all were all is saying. I'm about to go get in the book. What's about to happen to y'all? Temptation. Satan about to say, no, you're not. There you go. All right. Listen to the strategy. Let's be, strat let's be strategists, right? Let's be strategists, right? Let's be boxers, right? We like boxing. One second, one second. Hey, let me make this one point and I'm gonna talk to you. Let's be, let's be boxers. The, the, hey, y'all sisters, come listen to this, watch this. Let, let, let's, let's, let's make the word understandable with an illustration like how Christ used to teach. Let's be boxers for a second. If, if you're a boxer and I'm a boxer and I wanna beat you, but you're great at counter punching, you're great at body punches and you're great at knocking people out who overextend. What am I not gonna do? I'm not gonna overextend, right? Because that's what you're good at, right? We boxers, right? I'm not gonna try to prove that I could beat you at what you're good at, right? That don't make no sense. Right. I'm gonna have a strategy for you, right? Right. Wouldn't it be stupid if, hey man, if you rush that dude, he knocked people out? Wouldn't it be stupid if the bell rang and I rushed you? Wouldn't, if I got knocked out, wouldn't y'all be like, why the hell he do that? Y'all wouldn't say, nah, he hard, bro. He tried to do it. The, he tried to do it the hard way. Y'all wouldn't say that, right? Y'all be like, that was dumb. Where's your strategy, right? That's what it's like trying to serve the Lord. Satan is going to attack you at what you weak at, right. and what you strong, he gonna stay away from that. Right.